Hey beer tubers, that's Winky coming at you from uh, Yokosuka, Japan. After quite a long time, I haven't been trying out a lot of different beers, uh, mainly because I haven't had much access to one uh, or any, but uh, I was up in Yokota, uh, up in a place near Tachikawa in uh, western Japan, in western Tokyo, forgive me, uh, and um, it's where our Air Force base is. The United States has a big Air Force base there in Yokota. And I was up there visiting some friends over the holidays. And uh, they took us out to this great brewery. And it's uh, called, um, actually the beer label says Tokyo Beer. Uh, Tama no Megumi. Uh, Tama is actually uh, the name of uh, the small town that's just outside uh, uh, that area there, Tama, and uh, this particular one I've chosen is a blueberry ale. Very interested in uh, seeing what this tastes like. It'll be fun. Um, so I, I don't know an awful lot about the brewery, except it used to be a, um, a sake brewery. And uh, as I'm speaking, I'll try to put in some of the still photographs that I took of the area. Um, but uh, again, craft beer is beginning to be quite uh, the thing here in Japan, known as uh, uh, jibiru, uh, local beers, and um, uh, so they've uh, they still make sake there, but they also do beers, so uh, and ales, and so I'd like to give this a try. So let me open this up. Okay. And I'll pour this out. Ooh, blueberry, but it's got a very nice, uh, oh my goodness, what would you call that? Almost a, uh, a um, what would you call that color? It's almost a dark uh, pink grapefruit color. Uh, not very clear at all. As a matter of fact, it's not clear at all. It's got a very uh, Fruity, of course, it's blueberry ale. Uh, it's very fruity uh, flavor, uh, aroma to it. Uh, not any head at all, it just disappeared there. Uh, let me just give this a try. Very, very refreshing. Uh, it's um, got very, very little. Um, booziness to it. I, I guess it's very much like a, a, a real, uh, ha, I mean, a, what an ale is supposed to taste like. I'm not that familiar with ales, nor do I uh, really care all that much for them. Uh, it's a 5% alcohol content here. Um, I can't read all that's uh, written here, but um, Haramura something. I can't read all the kanji on here, unfortunately. Uh, does have hops in it, of course. Give this another little uh, swig here. Quite a bit of carbonation. Uh, overall, very, very refreshing. Um, I don't know if I would buy it again. Uh, so uh, as far as my rating is concerned and my, the, the drinkability of it is, I would still only rate it about a C. Um, I can't imagine this going well with anything. Uh, it's a little bit too sweet uh, to go with the uh, uh, typical things that I might eat with a, a, a beer, uh, such as pizza or sushi. Um, but on the other hand, it was uh, uh, it's very tasty, so maybe as a, uh, a dessert ale, I might try it. Um, but uh, overall, uh, I didn't care all that much for it. The stuff that I had on tap there, I had a, um, I want to say it was a Weissen that I had, and it was very good, very, very good, and of course it was fresh. Uh, made right there and therefore it was a very fresh uh, Weissen and uh, excellent, excellent uh, quality. Well, uh, that's it uh, from Yokosuka, Japan. This time I will be doing another 
uh, review from the same brewery. Uh, I can't remember exactly what I bought, uh, but uh, I'll give that a review. And uh, I am planning on uh, taking my son Birich Tuba uh, up there when he comes back to Japan and uh, and maybe he'll give his own personal review of some of these uh, uh, beers that they're brewing up there. So, take care. Sayonara.